So thank you for joining me today. It is Courage Monday. For those of you not in the United States, we celebrate our Memorial Day today, which is also a Monday. And it is the last Monday in May as we honor and mourn those who have served in the U.S. military for their dedication, their sacrifice, their service to this country. If you are the spouse of active or retired duty, I thank you. If you yourself are active duty or retired military, I thank you. Without you, we probably couldn't be here doing what we do because it's illegal in so many places. And so for now, we can still have this opportunity to speak about the Lord and to share. And so I am grateful and thank you for being here. So what's going on Exodus? What's going on in Exodus 14? You know the story. The Egyptians, they are advancing upon the Israelites and there's nowhere for them to go. Now we will see that the hand of God will be upon the situation and he will part the Red Sea and they will pass through. There's nowhere for them to go. So let's look at the response of Moses because you know what? I want you to have a leader in your corner that's like Moses. I want a leader in my corner that's like Moses. And if I have to be the leader, then I want to be so in tune with God that I want to respond like Moses. And if you have to be the leader, then I want you to be so in tune to God that you respond like Moses did. So let's take a look at what's going on. This is Exodus chapter 14. Um, and we do know what happens. We know that Pharaoh will drown. We know that the Egyptians, that they will drown. But leading up to that, in Exodus 14, verse 10, here's what it says. As Pharaoh drew near, the Israelites looked back, and there were the Egyptians advancing on them. In great fear, the Israelites cried out to the Lord. They said to Moses, Was it because there were no graves in Egypt that you have taken us away to die in the wilderness? What have you done to us, bringing us out of Egypt? Is this not the very thing we told you in Egypt? Let us alone and let us serve the Egyptians. For it would have been better for us to serve the Egyptians than to die in the wilderness. But Moses said to the people, Do not be afraid, stand firm, and see the deliverance that the Lord will accomplish for you today. For the Egyptians whom you see today, you shall never see again. The Lord will fight for you. You have only to keep still. Moses says, don't be afraid, stand firm. See the deliverance that the Lord will accomplish for you today. He says, the Lord will fight for you. All you have to do is keep still. And sometimes perhaps we try to do things our own way instead of just letting the Lord do what he's going to do. I want for you that leader in your corner who will be so in tuned with God that he will respond like Moses. I want for me that leader in my corner who will be so in tuned with God that he will respond like Moses. And if we happen to be the leaders, then I want us to be so in tuned with God that we respond like Moses. So when the people are in fear, in great fear, and he says, watch the Lord deliver you. Watch the Lord deliver you. Armor up. We ride at dawn. May God bless you as always. Have a great day.